I took up tennis. I tried that. Lasted one night, showing up at the local tennis club. Guys going, yeah, you're on court number four. I would eat bats, mate. <laughs> you don't have rackets. Of course we don't have rackets. It's my first night at a new hobby. I've got a bottle of Lucozade and a fiver, mate. That's all you bring. <laughs> Everybody knows that's all you bring at your first night at a new hobby. <laughs> Try to play tennis, you end up losing the plot. Try to self, you end up just meeting up at the net to discuss rule changes. <laughs> Will we just make it becomes the theme of the evening. <laughs> Will we just make it you can serve underarm and it can bounce anywhere? Instead of 15, 30, 40, we would just make it 1 0, 2 0, 3 0. <laughs> and your pal starts beating you as if he's fucking great at it. Starts offering you feedback. I've noticed you're lifting your head. Fuck you, as if you're any fucking good at it. <laughs> That's the sport here, isn't it? Tennis, Andy Murray. He's fucking changed this place. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? Scotland becoming a tennis country. Who would have thought? It's the working man sport, isn't it? You walk into a rough pub in Glasgow when there's tennis on. Volatile atmosphere. <laughs> no tennis colours, signs up out of the pub. <laughs> Guys arguing long into the night. You're going to sit there, Del, and tell me that Nal Bandian would beat Djokovic on a clay court. <laughs> Derek, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> That's how stereotypes change. Northern Ireland, they're into golf. They want to Belfast in. One guy there. Yeah. Good man. Bel Where are you from? Belfast. Where is he? <laughs> you, mate. You. What's your name? Ian. Ian. That's a fucking accent, isn't it? They make us sound like Michael Bublé earlier. Ian. <laughs> There's a bomb in the biscuit tin. Ian. <laughs> How long have you been in Glasgow, Ian? Since 1985, you just get fed up with shite weather, religious intolerance. You thought, fuck this, I'm off to Glasgow. <laughs> Good man. 85. <laughs> 1985. First time I was in Belfast, the hotel I was staying was beside an 80s bar. I thought that was funny. Ian, an 80s bar in Belfast, of all the cities in the world where you don't want to go and celebrate the 80s. <laughs> what the fuck is on in there? People rubbing shite on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Petrol bombs getting chucked across the dance floor. Who gives a fuck? Karma chameleon's on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a man without conviction. No, it's changed, isn't it, Ian? Golf, that's the sport. Tennis, Scotland, golf, Northern Ireland, Rory McIlroy, Darren Clark, good to see. They've ditched the guns, bought golf clubs. Progress. <laughs> they're still chucking the odd petrol bomb, but they're shouting four. No, giving each other a bit of... <laughs> a bit of support, a bit of feedback on their game. What you gotta do there? You gotta picture the shot first. Get that fucking police station in your sights there. Just stand. <laughs> Shoulders straight, bend your fucking knees. I'm lighted for you. <laughs> well, I'll be fat again, don't worry, I'll be fat. I'll be back. I'm looking sharp, but I'll be back. I'm one all inclusive holiday away from fucking meltdown, don't worry. <laughs> I'll be back. Did you go any holidays this year, big guy? Aye. Aye, aye. Where did you go, sir? Mallorca, you and the good lady, was it? Aye, good man. Any big holiday arguments? No. Aye, a few. <laughs> Get the camera on him, let's dig some dirt here. <laughs> that's, that's tradition, isn't it? And you go with your missus, big holiday, bust up, big fucking 35 degree argument. <laughs> Carrying a five litre bottle of water and a lilo up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> your flip flops keep falling back down the fucking hill. Eventually just booting them out. Fucking flip flops on in the pavement's too warm. Where's my fucking flip flops? Look, Andy, I go, you get that one, I'll get that one. <laughs> Five litres, how many times are you going to brush for fucking teeth on this holiday anyway? 
or a water park. That's if your relationship can survive a water park argument. That's love. <laughs> Sitting on a big inflatable yellow ring, trying to get the last word done before you begin your sharp decline. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Well, who fucking paid for the holiday? <laughs> and you need to wait on the other one coming down. Two of you buzzing. The adrenaline's gone. Put your ring back. You've cheered up, but you're fucked if you're letting your face know you've cheered up. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this bad mood. I've worked hard all year for this bad mood. <laughs> Even if something funny happens, you've got white shorts on, they're wet, everybody can see your arse cheeks and your pubes. <laughs> well, it's funny, is it, what nobody here's seen an arse before? I have. Mature. I'm mature. <laughs> I never knew guys shaved their pubes. I don't give a fuck. Ha ha, la everybody laugh at me. Fuck you. <laughs> I like a bit of Spain. Any Spanish in? <laughs> Aye, you, mate. You, what part of Spain? Fucking Shettleston. <laughs> Aye. What's your name, sir? Stevie. Stevie for Spain. Stevie. <laughs> Good man, Stevie. How long have you been in Scotland, Stevie? Aye, we'll get up there. Eh? We've peaked at that, Stevie. Busted. <laughs> He'll do that show on the telly now, Stevie. Christmas Day. Oh, he'll run to Stevie's. He gets coked up and puts that DVD on again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> So he goes like MD for Spain. I'm like, aye, me. <laughs> Rewind it, watch it again. Everybody get in the living room, watch it. <laughs> Very funny, Stevie. Very fucking funny, buddy. <laughs> Spain, I like Spain. I like the cultural side. Siesta. I like that shit. You get to go for a lie down in the afternoon. It's called a siesta in Spain. You go for a lie down in the afternoon in Scotland. It's called depression. <laughs> People start worrying about you. You go for a siesta in this country. <laughs> is the big man all right? Aye, is she frying his seat? Is he all right? He spoke to him. He tried to talk to him about it. Oh, it's just it's a lot of siestas he's going for. <laughs> I like my siesta on holiday. That's the best bit. And I don't go mental holidays anymore. Don't go with my mates. I've got bomb scare pals. I don't know when to shut the fuck up. And that gets <laughs> but well spin after a few years turning up dodgy side streets in a foreign country. People try to sell you shit. I've got mates that don't know when to shut the fuck up and keep walking. Hookers everywhere. I suck your dick. I suck your dick. <laughs> I'll suck your dick in. <laughs> well done, Barry boy. That's us all getting shot, mate. Well done. <laughs> yeah. I like the bit when you're getting fuck all done. The bit between. Six o'clock and before you need to go out for the night. You've done the pool during the day. You're in. That's it. The siesta. Lying on the sofa bed in the apartment with prickly heat. <laughs> Watching The Simpsons in Spanish. <laughs> Eating the local crisps. Listening to how much your fucking fruitcake Homer sounds in Spanish. Si, <laughs> pero march. Que sobre los flanderos. Siempre aprendo algo nuevo. Saca algo viejo de mi mente. Do. I'll go in the shower in a minute. I think Homer's going to slit somebody's throat here. <laughs> They're nice eh, crisps. Here, get some mirror red crisps. Ruffles. Jamon flavour. <laughs> 